Welcome to PrairieFoxSurvival.com. My name is Richard. Today we're going to be canning ham and pinto beans. And what we're going to do, we're going to start filling our jars here. Now on our beans, what we did is we soak our pinto beans overnight. And then we strain them. Now the next morning, I like them to be pretty close to room temperature or above. Well, I'll try that. Of course, that doesn't work with me. So I better use my funnel here. And you want to clean your beans, and then I just heat them up on the stove after they sit in the refrigerator overnight. We're going to fill our jars about this full. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put our ham in it. And really, this is a domestic pig, but if you get a hold of a wild pig, I personally like the ham so much better. But it's not quite time yet to go out and get our wild pig. We're going to add our onions to it. onions in almost everything. We grow them in our garden. Okay, now we're going to put our funnel back up here. We're going to fill our beans on up. And what I want to do now is just mash them down just a little bit. Because we're going to want to adjust another layer of ham and onion in it. And these are much smaller jars. Normally we would can these in our quart jars, but Today we're wanting to use pints for the simple reason with just my wife and I. If we just want a quick meal that tastes like fresh cooked beans when we come in, we can just open up the can and within a few minutes it's ready to go. Alright, you want to keep your jars with one inch of head space. <clears throat> Actually, if you go to about this ring right here, you'll be safe on it. Now to finish this off, we had some of our canned bacon left over. So we're just, for a little flavor, going to put some in there. That should mix very well with our ham. It must be a female pig. It's not wanting to cooperate with me fully. And then we have a mixture here. And I don't really measure anything out. I just kind of do it to where my taste is. But this is a mixture of cumin, garlic powder, and crushed pepper seed. Okay, we're ready to add our boiling water to it. We want it very hot, and we want to fill it about an inch from the top. Alright, we're going to 
Push our wooden spoon in here. Make sure we don't have any air bubbles. This also helps mix up your vegetables and beans a little bit. Alright, we want to be sure and wipe our jars, make sure they're clean. And this is very important. Alright. At that point, we're going to take our lids out of the boiling water. Set them on. They are a little bit hot. A lot of people use magnets to get them out. I guess I'm still old-fashioned. That or too cheap to do it. And then we're going to put our rings on. We want to tighten them, but you don't want to overdo it. We ended up getting a total of 16 jars out of this, and we've already started putting some in the pressure canner. Getting ready to put these in. And we'll be, we'll cook them for 75 minutes and we'll be back to you as soon as they're done. Yes, I managed to sit down in my recliner last night and I fell asleep, so the cans, the jars didn't get taken out till this morning. And this is what they look like, and they all appeared to seal very nicely. We can take our ring off. We've got good seals on them. So, until next time, thank you for joining us at Prairie Fox Survival. Look forward to seeing you again.